What's up again, everybody? Today I got a special one for you. We're going to talk about a deck that I've put together that I'm going to be playing very soon in a week's time. And it's not just a normal deck. It's not like a classic constructed deck. It's not a blitz deck, though it is sort of a blitz deck. This is an ultimate pit fight deck, and we're going to be putting on an ultimate pit fight stream, or at least I think it's going to be streamed. That's the goal right now. That's the plan right now. Me and four other people are going to hop onto a Discord call, all with the same build restrictions and uh, decks that we've created from the build restrictions that we've put onto the UPF, and we are going to duke it out for your entertainment. And it's not me and just like four other people. Well, I guess it is. It's not me and like four patrons, though that's a really good idea that I thought of like right before I pressed the record button. No, it's me and four people you may know. So obviously, me, hopefully you know me. If you don't know me, welcome. Welcome to the channel. I'm DM Armada. I make YouTube content. I make content about flesh and blood and dice masters and stuff like that. Um, it's going to be uh, Red Zone Rogue, who's going to be playing, I think he's playing Ranger. He's gonna play some Azalea. We've got um, Louie over at Kitchen Table TCG. He's gonna be playing Shiana, uh, which was my second choice for heroes that I wanted to play for this event, which is a good pick. Shiana is a good pick. Um, we have Ian from uh, Radio Reflex and with Ian and Alan uh, over in New Zealand. He's gonna join us all the way from New Zealand. I think it's gonna be like three o'clock his time or two o'clock his time when we kick the whole thing off. He's playing uh, one of the Brutes. I'm not actually sure which Brute he's playing yet. We don't know. We've got Deck Edge. Deck Edge is playing along with us. He is playing Runeblade. I think he's playing Runeblade. And then, of course, there's me playing none other than my first choice, the one I called dibs on, like, right away. We are playing Cavdean, Traitor of Skins. Why are we playing Cavdean? Well, let me just tell you this. Cavdean is the ultimate, ultimate pit fight hero. He is like the one that you want to play if you want to just like troll people and have a good time. Because look at his ability. Once per turn action, pay three. If a hero has more health than any other hero, they lose one and create a copper token. And then if a hero has less health than any of the others, they gain one and then it has go again. So if I just pitch a blue card and use this effect, I can give anybody at the table one health, and they're happy. And then I can take away one health from someone, but give them a copper. And maybe they're happy, or maybe they're not, I don't know, but my job is just gonna go. I'm just gonna go and just make people happy. That's what my job is. Everyone will love me, I will die at some point during the game, but people are going to enjoy the things that I give them. So with that understanding, let me talk you through the deck. Of course, I could talk through the equipment pieces. I think I'm gonna run Hope Merchant's Hood. I think I'm gonna run, oh, well, I obviously am gonna run Talishar the Lost Prince, because I need a weapon, right? And I, there are no merchant weapons. Uh, Snapdragon Scalers is legit. Uh, it's just really, really good. You pop it on anything that costs one or less, and it gets go again. Uh, and then I'm going to run the Tunic and probably some Iron Rot. I don't know. Maybe I, because there's going to be a Rune Blade, maybe I will uh, like run exactly one Null Rune piece. I don't know. Something like that. But let me talk you through the deck. Okay, here's the deck that I'm going to run. Oh, before I do, I should say this. This is going to be live streamed. At least that's the hope, unless my internet explodes. This is going to be live streamed next Sunday, okay? So I think it's like Sunday, February the 7th? I'm gonna look, hold on. Sunday, February the 7th. Um, look out for the YouTube channel post um, saying what exact time. I think we're shooting for like eight central time or 8.30 central time, I'm not sure, but look out for the post and you'll see it. So if you wanna come watch us duke it out, it's gonna be uh, Shapeshifter versus uh, Merchant versus Runeblade versus Ranger versus one of the two Brutes. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a good time. Uh, if you wanna come watch it, feel free to pop on over to this channel or any of the other channels that are gonna be streaming it. Oh, I should say this too. There's a stipulation that we've put on all the decks, okay? It's not just, build a 60 card deck with the normal build limits. No, we're gonna build a 40 card deck, so a blitz deck, but we're not gonna use blitz building rules. Instead, we're gonna make it a 40 card singleton deck. In other words, if you wanted to run um, you know, like sink below, 
you can only one run one red sink below one yellow sink below and one blue sink below okay so it's singleton in that sense you can run um, only one of the named card per color okay so that's going to change the way that you deck build for this this is literally a perfect way to dip your toe into the game make a 40 card deck with one ofs across the board make five of them get like four of your friends to sit down and just jam some of these games okay all right, enough. Let's talk about the deck. I've said I've said that like three times, but let's begin. I'm so hyped for this. Obviously, obviously we're gonna run Enlightened Strike. I mean, obviously. We are not dumb. We're kinda dumb, but obviously <laughs> we're gonna run Enlightened Strike. Now, obviously we're also gonna run Coax of Commotion because Coax of Commotion can give everybody a Quicken token. It can draw everybody a card and everyone can gain one. And let's be honest, we're in the business of making people happy. So we're going to use all of those effects all whenever this hits. So we just need one of our friends to let us hit them. Okay, that's all we need. We're running Snatch because drawing cards is cool and because this attacks for four. We could pop the Snapdragon Scalers off this and we give it go again. That's pretty neat. Flock of the Feather Walkers. We can pop the Snapdragon Scalers off this, we give it go again, and we created a Quicken token. That's pretty sweet as well. Notice these are all um, generic, so like I could play these in anything, and in fact you may see a lot of these in anything. So Drone of Brutality Red and Drone of Brutality Blue. Uh, these are six attack and four attack. They're two costs, so you cannot pop Snapdragon Scalers and give them go again, but they are there for blocking and for the late game uh, stuff that we hopefully, maybe we'll make it to the late game. Maybe people love us so much that we just end up sneaking in. I don't know. Last ditch effort. This is also there for the super late game. I do also want to point out this costs three so I can pitch Drone of Brutality and I can play last ditch effort and attack for eight if my deck is empty. Uh, if, I, if my deck is not empty or if I just draw this early, I can pitch it and then just use Cavdayan's effect, right? So pretty solid. Pursuit of Knowledge, two cost. I can pitch it and use Cavdayan's effect, or I could attack with it. If it hits for some reason, like somehow, then uh, your hero gains plus one intellect. I have five cards. I'm playing a generic hero. I need things in my hand to defend with. Uh, so playing something that could possibly hit and give me intellect of five, five cards would be pretty sweet. Cadaverous Contraband. Now we get to the things that are a little bit spicy, a little bit weird, a little bit meme -y. Okay, Cadaverous Contraband, red, blue, and yellow. If it hits, you can put a non-attack action card from your graveyard on top of your deck. Okay, I'm running a lot of non-attack action cards, so hopefully this possibly could hit and we could do something with it. Now again, I can't pop Snapdragon off of these, but they attack for six, five, and four respectively, so that's pretty solid. Now, uh, this is one of those This is one of those cards. This is one of the cards that we're gonna say, everybody wants this to happen. Just let it happen. I'm just gonna lean in and say, hey, hey, just let this hit. We all want it. You know you want to, okay? Promise of Plenty is a zero cost attack action. Attacks for three. If it comes from the arsenal, it gains go again. If it hits, each hero that doesn't have a card from the arsenal puts the top card of their deck into the arsenal. So that's pretty sweet. Everybody gets a card. Everybody, everyone's gonna love us. Who would not want to play, um, and who would not want to uh, like let the person live that has a Promise of Plenty red, yellow, and blue? Come on, if you guys are watching, and you're like, I want that guy to still be alive, hit the like button. Moon Wish, red and yellow. I thought about blue, but I didn't put blue in there, but I ran the, the red and yellow version. Also too, you don't have to pay for it though. You can put the card or put a card from your hand on top of your deck in order to pay the cost instead, which is kind of cool. Instead of pitching it to the bottom of your deck, you put something on the top of your deck. Tax for five, attacks for four. If it hits, you get to go and get Sun Kiss. Sun Kiss is a card in this deck it is a non-attack action card, so Cadaverous Contraband can go and get Sun Kiss. So, let's look at the non-attack action cards. I have them all set off to the side here. I, I should start with Sun Kiss, but I'm not gonna. Forget that. We're gonna start with Gorganian Tome, the card that everyone's gonna run, because why would you not run Gorganian Tome? Everyone wants to draw cards. Everybody. Look, draw X cards, where X is one, plus the number of tomes in all the graveyards, okay? Obviously go again, that's pretty sweet. Can't defend for anything, so that's really sucky in your hand. Hey, speaking of tomes, Tome of Fiendal. I can only run one of these because it's singleton format, but it, you, you pitch 
one, you play this, you draw two. If it's from your arsenal, you pitch, you play this, you draw two and gain some number of health. That's pretty sweet. That's pretty sweet. Energy Potion, I pitch this and I can use Cavdayan's effect. Or I play this and at some point I could get two resources, which is pretty good because uh, if I play this down, there's like several attack actions that cost two. So this could just cover the cost for it, right? Here we go. Sun Kissed. I think all of the Sun Kissed, did I pick all shiny ones? No, no, that doesn't, that doesn't, oh, I gotta go find some like hollow Sun Kissed to put in this. Okay, Sun Kissed costs zero, it's a generic attack, or sorry, a generic action, not an attack. It says gain three, or gain two, or gain one, okay? They, they gain you life, and that's important because I'm probably not gonna have much life. So gain life, if you've played a card named Moon Wish, then uh, I get to draw a card and this has go again. So if I play Moon Wish, I search for this, I can put it into my hand, I can play this, and then I can get go again. But of course I'd have to give Moon Wish go again, so there's a little bit of like uh, kind of things you have to work out there. Maybe a Time Snap potion needs to be in this deck as well. Nevertheless, Sun Kiss is pretty cool. So I put that in there because I want to be able to gain six life. That's just a thing, man. Chains of Eminence. I want to be the person that makes the choices. I want to say, hey, guys, I have a Chains in my hand. What should I target? And then I want them to tell me what to play. That's what I want to do. So I put a chains in here. I can only run one. Cash in. Here's the next level big brain play. You ready? I'm going to gain all this life. Okay, I'm going to gain all the life. And then I'm going to hurt myself over time. Okay? To the point where I can get four coppers and play cash in. That's the goal. Okay? We're going to do that during the game. Just wait. Just watch. At that point, we'll draw four cards. Or sorry, we'll draw two cards. We'll have like four cards in hand and we'll be happy. I don't know what we're going to do with those four cards, but I don't care. Cash in. And then you can't play... You can't play a fun game of Flesh and Blood. I think it's in the rules. You can't play a fun game of Flesh and Blood if you don't have Crazy Brew in your deck. I, check it. It's like page 14... It's on the bottom, says you have to have Crazy Brew in the deck. I'm pretty sure that exists, so Crazy Brew's in there. Hey, if we don't want to play Crazy Brew, which, <laughs> why would you not want to play Crazy Brew? If you don't want to play it, though, we can pitch it and Cav Day in, right? Okay, defense reactions. We suck at defending because we have a bunch of generic cards, so Sink Below and Sink Below and Fate Foreseen and Fate Foreseen and springboard somersault i'm, I'm kind of iffy on this one i don't know what do you think and a single copy of unmovable the the red version i don't know maybe the yellow version belongs in here but we're playing against a ranger shiana and uh, a brute uh, if we sit next to the brute then yeah we probably get screwed so uh maybe an, maybe another one of those i don't know i don't know okay uh attack reactions this is also a weird one we have Razor Reflex Red, which makes sense. We've got a weapon that could be Razor Reflexed because it's a sword. We have about half of the attack actions are um, zero or one cost, so they can be Razored. Uh, the other half are two or greater, so they cannot be Razored. Uh, so that's why it's a little weird. But we're running two. We're running red and yellow. And we're running Pummel because the other half of the deck can be Pummeled. So we got Pummel, and we have Pummel, and we have Pummel. Okay, uh, If we can somehow survive to the late game, and be one of the last few people standing, we could probably cheese out a win. Uh, oh, not really a win. We could probably cheese out a placement where we, like, pummel someone over the top. That would be interesting. I don't know. Maybe we could pull that off. The final couple of cards, you ready? They're instants. Okay, here they are. Why is the yellow one up first? Red Sigil. That's shiny. Okay. Yellow Sigil, because we want to gain life, right? Then we have Snag. Again, it's kind of like the chains. I want to be able to just do this whenever my opponents want me to do this because I want to be the friendly one. Hey, I'll help you out. Look, I'll help you out. I'll play snag and you just don't hit me. Remembrance. Okay, we've been we've been uh, planning this. We've been planning this for a while and this remembrance is uh, is highly talked about. It's highly talked about. Here's the play. Someone's gonna play Tome at some point. If you've already played Tome, you interrupt Tome, their Tome I should say, with Remembrance and you take your Tome out of the graveyard so that they can't get the card draw off of Tome. That's the play. That's the play. So you gotta put Remembrance in the deck. Everybody's gonna run it. Everybody's already said they're gonna run it. I only have one copy of Remembrance, so it's perfect that this is Singleton, because otherwise I would have 
literally no possible way <laughs> to do that play. I have exactly one, and so it's in the deck. So that's what I've got right here. What should I change? Tell me in a comment below. I have just enough time to make some ch final changes. Um, I think it's very important that we don't play this deck at all until the day of. I think that's... I feel very strongly about that strategy. We're literally not going to play the deck until the day of because maximum, maximum laughs. That's what we're going for. If we mess up or if we totally realize something doesn't work, maximum laughs. So let me know in a comment below what I should tweak, what I should change. And if you want to come watch this, you should come to this YouTube channel on Sunday night, February the 7th at like 8 p.m. Central Time. And then you can check out the fun. Hopefully, we hit the stream like right on it and it's like all good and it's like not exploding because a bunch of people are like all on the internet at the same time. Hopefully, it's nice and functional. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Let me know what you think about this deck. Let me know how I should tweak it and change it. Uh, I'm not trying to be uh, too <laughs> competitive. I'm literally here to have a really good time with some really fun people. As always, everybody, thanks for watching.